What's up, everybody? Okay, we're going to give it a few minutes before we hop into the fun discussion. Y'all, I got to tell you, I am tired today. Tired. <sighs> but blessed. So blessed. So tired. So blessed. Um, so give me a minute. Oh. All right. I see y'all are coming up. Hi, everybody. Oh, my gosh. I do love going live. I get to see you guys. Um, I have my glasses on, so like up, if I look through my top, it's blurry. But if I look down, I can see you. So forgive me if I'm like doing a lot of weird stuff. Um, I am actually so tired. But yes, I would, I would go on Big Brother again for sure. So I know. Can we just go ahead and like cry a little sad deer for that sweet, sweet man, Cedric? so freaking sad like I literally have tears in my eyes I don't know what it was about him but I just loved his vibe he was so vibrant and he was just oh wait no that's not I'm waiting for Donnie to come on here he was so vibrant so sweet and obviously like really amazing just just jubilant okay he was just jubilant and I loved I loved that he had served in the military he just seemed really authentic um I like that he had a little fire to him, but I also think that he didn't have enough cutthroat to to go after like the true BB style. So I really wanted him to have a clean, easy HOH like he wanted, but Tucker went crazy, obviously, and man, he did it. He did it. So um <laughs> A lot of people volunteer from the block. That's a good idea. So sometimes when you volunteer from the block, you're basically cashing in like future, your future cashing in a favor. You're like, man, I, you know, that time I did that for you. And it's really just a, so, a social negotiation. Sometimes it'll expose who you think is on your side for real. Uh, but volunteering yourself for the block is one kind of bold because you know you're safe. And uh, two, puts them in your pocket for a later date for a favor. Yes, Rebels, I love it. And um, so I just, it's its a strategy move. And its it can pay off pretty well sometimes. And like, honestly, like y'all remember, I don't know if you remember, but I just like played so well of, of me. Let me see if they're back on here. Okay, got it. I was, um, I had my broken foot. I just pretend I was like, look, if you ever need it, you can just put me on the, how am I going to compete? I have no ability. And so when I would, I would just like not offer it all the time, but kind of pseudo offer and be like, oh, just y'all can keep me around. And whenever you want to get me out, just put me on the block. Cause I can't compete. So it's just a, it's like a, you're, you're, getting people in your pocket when you offer that so people were just asking questions about why would you ever offer to go on the block mm. build trust <laughs> try to try to look like a team player but it's, it's dumb it's, it's well it is dumb when you actually go up there but here's the thing is it's it's not that dumb it's not that dumb but, um if you feel, it can really feel like if you feel like you have a strong alliance and it's gonna look like a team move it can be a brilliant yeah move. It, it can, it can be, really it work can, for you 100 percent. 100 percent. until that one percent it does not <laughs> and then you're like wait uh well remember <laughs> this is so funny this is when it really backfires on you is um on my so so i had to like when, during my last one of my my sorry 19 i have to go back into the archives and i've been doing like crazy work all night so and my HOH, when I had my broken foot, uh -huh. remember Jason volunteered to go on the block, but he was my target. <laughs> yeah, so he thought he was being noble and brave, but really right, he, he was... in some social currency and be like, I'm doing this for you. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and... And he kept saying, you know, like, I remember I didn't lie to him. I didn't lie to him. And, and then he, his exit was so explosive. Do you remember that? 
Like he jumped out of his seat. You y'all dirty, rotten, scandal, son of a bitches. And I don't even think he took his bag. He ran out to Julie and they think they had to go to commercial to calm him down for a minute. Don't volunteer for the block, bros. Listen, if you're out there and you're getting on Big B and you're thinking about your strategy, number one strategy always of all time, don't volunteer. It can it can work. It ain't as much. But the show is so crazy, man, because like a week ago, you and I sat here and we talked about the show and my pick to win the whole damn thing <laughs> just gone. left out the door. <laughs> How are you feeling about that? What a difference a week makes, y'all. Yeah. Um, how am I feeling I mean, about that? Like that saved by the veto. And I'm so, like, it didn't work well for, for poor, um, what's his name with a deep fake HOH. Sorry, my brain, it's too late for me to have intelligent conversations. I literally put it's up in bed at like 8.30. It's past Christmas is bedtime. I've been working on my naughty list all night. Hey. What does that mean? I had a whole conversation in my head. You just didn't join it. Okay. I'm tired, so I have to go to bed. You got to catch me up. I don't, right I don't know what you're talking about. I've just been doing too much work. So I was like, oh, I'm working on my naughty list. So I have to go to bed early. I'm, you know, preparing for Christmas because my name's Christmas. Just work with me, man. I'm with you. Anytime after 8 p.m., I just get a little silly. Yeah. I get a little loopy. You get a little I loopy. I do. I do. Let's it's okay. Go up at like five thirty. We're gonna we're gonna work, work our way through this together, okay? Until you oh, run out of fuel. Said hi. Who? Hey, brother. Hi, Christopher. My brother. My younger brother. Oh, hi, brother. Yeah. Is he? What, what's his name? Thanksgiving. <laughs> No. Um, okay. Yeah, so the episode tonight was really weird, man. Like, I really th thought that Cedric had more currency in the house. But I think at the end of the day, people just thought to themselves, look, we got to choose between Cedric and Rabina. Cedric, I think a lot of people saw what I saw last week. Cedric could win the whole thing. Yeah, and I also think that, like, I mean, I, I mean, I think that he had current, he did have a lot of weight in the house, and I think what you're saying is right. They've seen him win. They know that he's very likable. He's just like, if you're looking at two different threats, who hasn't won anything, you keep them. Who's won yeah. something? and very social and then one person i would think i like rabina's personality but she doesn't really she only talks game to a certain few people and cedric it seems like cedric was very strategic in who he talked game with and when he like he was just more of like intelligence getting information and yeah. that's a very scary person in the house what was crazy when you talk about rabina hasn't won anything she was within like seconds milliseconds of winning the ai arena tonight and while i was watching i was like oh my god uh, rabina just came out of nowhere and she's gonna win this thing and i thought she won i thought she won she's running over to slap the buzzer and i thought she hit it mckenzie i guess yeah, those, those six foot long, long arms <laughs> a little a little more reach for our girl mckenzie yeah. Yeah. And she i wanted to see a i wanted to see a uh like an olympic 100 meter dash photo finish replay of that ending. But Mackenzie picked it up. And at that moment, I was like, oh, Rabina might be more of a competitor than I gave her credit for. But um, Dude, have Mackenzie. You watched, watched her intro video? She's yeah. a beast. She's like a tiny, but my, I love that she said tiny but mighty tonight. That was like my mantra all the time. I'm like, I'm tiny but mighty. Yeah, like, but compared, so compared to her, compared to her, you're six foot 11. I she's, know, man. She's it's really tiny. I know. Compared to her, well, you're me. <laughs> but Mackenzie has been on the precipice of winning so many different times where Rabina actually hasn't had that many opportunities to play. It's true. 
That's true. It's so, kind of like during, it's kind of like during your season when you didn't get to compete that much. I didn't get to compete. If I did get chosen, I wasn't allowed to compete half of the oh. stuff because they weren't any of the competitions for me. I know. They were like, through you and your foot, you decided to stay. I was like, but I just want to play. Um, and I, I, I had fun. But she, her in her intro video, she's like, she's like a huge athletic competitor. Like she's yeah. nasty. I but don't Mackenzie, know. Mackenzie is like a different type of athlete, right? You talk about a division one athlete. She's a freak of nature. And you know what? I'm watching Mackenzie tonight during the AI arena and the and the talks after and everything else. This whole time watching this season, I've been trying to place it. Like, who does she remind me of? And I finally got it in my head. You know, you know what I'm getting off of her? I'm getting pure Kelly Kapowski. <laughs> I love it. She's Kelly Kapowski. That is. You know what oh, yeah. that is? Didn't you watch Saved by the Bell? Bell. Yeah. I mean, I was said a lot of people aren't going to know who that is. Okay, Gen Z, I'm sorry. Oh, my go God. Watch, go watch Saved by the Bell. Did you just Canadian in our asses? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Canadian. It's all I can do. Hey, hey. <laughs> I was trying to read some comments. Um, okay, so I'm actually really that Cedric's gone. I just, I just really enjoyed his character, his personality. Like it seemed like he just had some really good, a good um, cal calibrated moral compass. <laughs> okay, you don't do well in, in Big Brother. <laughs> You're well calibrated moral compass. Yeah, it's um, true. And you know, like a lot of people right now i've been i've been following on social we talked about this last week a lot of people hating on angela and tucker they're very polarizing but at the same time when this season is over who are the people that are never going to be forgotten dude i'm gonna i'm here for it i'm yeah. supporting chaos all together i i'm really enjoying watching them i loved how tucker low-key started the room and he wasn't going to use the video you can start rumors to see where your leaks are. Yeah. And, yeah, it's a good call. The whole house knew. Um, and, and I'm sorry, I'm trying to read some of these. Um, hey, girl. Was, hey. I thought it was fun. Like, <laughs> make people get worried. Make people get, like, little, what? What's their, what are they doing? I love it. He's like, I'm here to play. That boy is going to wreck havoc every single week. Yeah. Uh, and you know what? I've always loved the strategy too. On that same tip, I've always loved the strategy of leaking garbage to someone to see if you can trust them. Because yeah. yeah. then when you hear it coming around the house, you're like, oh, I only told you that lie. <laughs> That's right. I mean, it, I've done that in day-to-day -day life. Listen, this is a this is a fun tip for you future BBers, meaning that if you're wanting to go on the show and you're applying and you want a strategy that works, this is what you do is you associate each name, each person with like a different, a different thing, like maybe something in your house, but you, you know, it's like Tucker's Jim Carrey, right? Right. I, heard, I, read, I, read, I read somebody like some, something. So you tell right, them. I told you, I told you my son said that. You tell them something game related that's kind of reference to that. So you know which secret comes back down to you. So, cause eventually you lose your mind. You don't know what you've told who sometimes. Yeah. And you need to know that if something comes back in reference to Jim Carrey or like specifically game wise, you're like, okay, it was that one. Because if you just start telling people different shit without knowing who, like you'll forget who you told what, because that's just lying. You just don't yeah. remember. Um, and then, and then you just kind of see what comes back. Yeah. How's it out? That's exactly what it is. And you know what's going to be interesting on that same note is the twist that Julie mentioned right as they were going off the air. The AI instigator, which America gets to vote on. And for anyone who missed it, the twist is whoever America chooses, they get to use the AI avatars of everyone else in the house to trash talk other people and spread lies. And I, I'm, I'm here for it. So I'm loving, like, I'm loving the triple nominations. I'm loving the competition 
right before the veto, I mean, right before the eviction, I'm loving these twists because the twists are really made to stir up shit. We're like, historically, the twist just kind of either gives you power, it's right. more like protection or just kind of like a butt, like, meh, is that really a twist? It is a twist, but I like that they're getting really deviant with it this season. <laughs> Well, and, and you know what? They've made the mistake in the past of creating a twist that will ca cause drama, but whether or not that twist is activated is at the discretion of someone in the house. Yeah. I've so oftentimes they'll just be like, nope, I don't want that. I don't want that smoke. Right now it's in the hands of the audience and the audience is like, yeah, let's watch it burn. <laughs> Next season. Hey, big listening right now you should have twists so like for example they had the four first four weeks to be able to activate their power right I feel like they need to be like hey look you have to activate your power but you get to choose within the next four weeks when yeah that's interesting i mean i'm of two minds of that because depending on the power if you don't need to use it you could just be bringing heat on yourself right play it well oh yeah i guess play it well um i'm curious to see i mean i think that i think this ai instigator twist like let's be honest it's going to be angela or tucker right <laughs> who else is the audience going to vote to be the shit disturber i don't know man i kind of want to well i'm different than america i think i just like, like let's take um I don't know. I mean, it, it'd be obvious. Good. It's not even like they don't have to even upset it. It's just their image, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's not. So it, let's, yeah, because so they could, like, so for example, say Tucker wins it. He can use the AI of Chelsea to go, Angela, you're garbage. <laughs> yeah, I just, just feel like they, if they understand it, then they're going to know that somebody else did that. Well, right. what they said is true. Right. It's true yeah. from someone's mind. Right. So <laughs> that's where it's going to, I think, I don't think it matters because if, listen, if that was me, if I got it, then I would put myself as the AI talking shit. Right? So I don't think it matters who the AI images. I think it matters with like what they're actually saying. And then that's what the shirt stir is going to be is because like who said that originally, who did they tell? Right. Come on, yeah, man. It's, it's going to be I'm interesting. TV champion. Not really, because I didn't win. There's uh, well, whatever. <laughs> Listen, you finished third on one foot, and then your All Star season, you finished what fourth, fifth? I did get on the season. I did get. Yeah. Get on the you were you were an All Star. Like, come on. All right. Yeah, and that's why, because I I get twisted in my brain. Get out of here. You were a rock star on that goddamn. Well, not Angela rock star, but you were a rock star. I have to tell you, she's growing on me. She's growing on me. Angela rock star. Yeah. No, I meant I meant rock star from a few seasons ago. Oh, rock Angela. Star. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. <laughs> Up there. That was a, that was a different BB pull. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, yeah. But yes, okay. Angela was growing on me like i saw tonight there was a, a moment where a few of the house guests are gathered together it was tucker i think rabina i can't remember maybe someone in the chat can tell me who was all in that group i think it was like four people um they're, they're all gathered together talking game and angela's in the next room listening at the door to everything and then she finally creeper and i love it and then finally she walks in, hat in hand, and goes, guys, can I please be part of this? Can I please, please be part of this? And my heart kind of broke for the lady, you know? Oh and they're, but they're all looking at each other like, uh, and I don't think anyone gave an answer. They're just like, uh, and then you see all their cutaways to the DR. It's like, can someone talk? Oh my gosh. <laughs> like oh my so gosh. awkward. Oh man. I don't yeah. know, man. It's, I, it's, I agree. She's you, grown up. Yeah, I know. She's kind of grown. You know, Valerie, when I said Mother Tucker, because Tucker was like, you know, I said I'm up, right? I'm dubbing those duo Mother Tucker. <laughs> what a great team name. 
Mother Tucker. Mother, Mother Tucker. Tucker for final two. Final two, Mother Tucker. Yeah, I'm down. I'm team Mother Tucker now. <laughs> yeah, I'm down with they, it. They, um, they are strangely like, also, well, one, Tucker has no true alignment. He has no care for her. You know, he, Tucker has, Tucker's in a for Tucker. Yeah. But. Although, the thing that's been creeping up over the last few days that I did not see coming is this budding sexual tension between Tucker and Rabina. Okay, so you could kind of see when he used the veto and Rabina got put up, you could see he was like, I don't know if he saw that coming. No. I like he was like I did not see that being the duo, you know? <laughs> I'm here for it. No, of course. I'm here for it. What the, so what's the brother without like a couple so each other? Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I love how incredibly intense it is when you do have a connection with someone like being 24 seven in a house, you just don't understand it. Cause you get so many, you get so, in the, in reality, you get so many breaks, check your phone, TV, uh, read a book, music, go off and do like, look outside. You have no idea. Like you are pulled. Like it's, it's just, it's really interesting. Yeah. I was kind of surprised you didn't end up in a showmance during season 19. I wasn't a showmance with my boot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god the way you said that i thought you were about to drop a bombshell like oh you didn't see what happened when the lights was off yeah <laughs> that was me in my boots in my boot, oh, was my boot. In my actually my scooter me and my scooter yeah that was a love affair it was because i could not get around the house without it i had crutches for a couple days and i was like I fell like five times and they were so concerned. They were like, and then they got me a scooter with big oversized wheels and I fell twice with that. And I went back in, I was like, I need something different. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, hurt myself even more. So finally they got me the, the scooter one that I like that they make motorcycle no noises when I drive across. Um, I was one day I'll watch the whole season again. I was gonna say what I really love, what's happening right now, unless I've missed something on the live feeds, but the Tucker Rabina flex right now is they're in that big brother early phase of showmances where they're both like, mm, no, 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 we can't do this. No, 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 we don't wanna make ourselves a target. No, 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 we don't wanna be a, but I want you. No, 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 no. Oh, but I must, have. no, I You're love that. Kid, nothing else to do so when you're interested in somebody in the house and like the chemistry is there yeah. Yeah. you're just like well, well you just avoid flirting all day i mean it's, it's literally like sitting in front of like just going to an italian going to italy and being like i'm never gonna eat pasta or wine not yeah but at the it. same time a lot of times it's not even about chemistry it's more what you said before you're in this house you're stuck there's someone that you find attractive on some level. You got nothing else to do. Like it's I've really seen a lot of chemistry. A lot of it's sometimes really, I mean, I have to say, I have to disagree with you. Well, I'm just saying I've seen a lot of showmances on the show where it's like right. you talk to these you talk to these people when they come out, and like, yeah, in the real world, I never would have been interested in that person. <laughs> yeah, they, you know? they put together some good some good little couples. I'm rooting for y'all. Yeah. Rina and Tucker. Ruck, Listen, Rucker? Will that be Rucker? <laughs> Team Rucker? Rucker. I mean, Big Brothers had more weddings than The Bachelor. So what does that say? Tell me about it. All right. It's, it's, not, the, it's <laughs> not the goal of the show, but they're making babies and, and marriages on Big Brother. So. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean... Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm curious to see where this goes now, though, because I have now I have no. I know a lot of people are going. Ah, oh, just give the money to Tucker. Now he's going to run away with it. Now that Cedric's gone, but I don't think wow. so. I think the target just got bigger on it Tucker. Did and I'll tell you what you you know there is a way for him to lose because I don't think that they're going to continue to do the AI. They're going to be. It will be where I believe that there will be a situation where. 
he can if he doesn't win one piece of it he will be gone yeah yeah and i mean he just we talked about this last time right like at what point does he stop winning and then he wins another veto this week like this dude like he's gonna big break brother. all the records for winning stuff i know big brother chose too too well this time yeah i'm here for it though i, I, like, I like that he's a strong winner and i like that he is a disruptive player yeah, that's fun to watch. It's not always it's not always the most sane thing for him to be doing, but it's that. it's fun to watch. I'm watching a new version of nineteen, and I'm here for it. Right? Yeah. I'm not here to, to, watch, brother to watch vanilla shit. We're all going to no, around. I agree with you. I social votes. Like I like I like his style. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I'm here for it. And I like the fact that he's constantly trying to push the status quo. He's trying to constantly upset. Uh, you know what I don't know about Tucker? Maybe I missed this early on. Was he a fan of the show? Is He's not a super fan, right? I, I feel like he's coming in with very little background. It's working for him. For sure. And I was that's, that's kind of what my point was. I had very little background about Big Brother. I was not a super fan. Not like Josh. Well, yeah, that's because the, the, the producers begged you to do the show. I think Paul was very new to the game when he played the first time. Is that right? I, I thought Paul was a fan. I don't think I so. could be wrong. I could be wrong. Paul's actually uh, here right now. He's in my pocket. You want me to get him? Yeah. <laughs> Paul, Paul, Paulie pocket. Oh. I'm such a dick. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, so I have to reassess at this point who's in the house and and what i like going forward because i was i was all cedric you were as, that's i just figured he had the right temperament to go far you know what i mean and i you know what i what, like I, I i'm finding that especially what i don't understand is like you're in big brother during these competitions that thing resets like hustle go back there reapply yourself faster and faster and faster and that's what tucker does yeah. i remember one of the episodes or hoh or the ai the very very first competition like tucker like took off and you see people go okay and they're kind of jogging to the edge and they're jogging to here jogging to there if i'm going up against time i'm hauling yeah 100 i don't know why i whispered that you guys know i cuss like a like a sailor i don't like know why a i whispered drunken like, sailor <laughs> that was my mom i'm like hauling booty <laughs> You know what Tucker? What what um? You know what Cedric did tonight? And if he had survived the vote, this was going to be the first thing I talked about with you tonight. But he didn't survive the vote, so it's almost a non-factor at this point. Okay. But when Julie when Julie did her when Julie did did her thing, where she's like, "Okay, Mackenzie's off the block. Everyone, you now have time to strategize and discuss." Seti started working and working the room. And just when it looked like they were about to wrap and get to voting, he grabs Tucker and he goes, Tucker, I need to talk to you. And he pulls him in. This is a guy who said he was gunning for you. And Cedric didn't make the common big brother mistake of going, well, he doesn't like me, so I'm not going to waste my time. He's like, fuck it. I'm going to go talk to him and I'm going to try. And he put his arm around him and he goes, listen, I know you don't like me. I know we've had our issues. But I'm like, you can keep coming after me yourself. I can be on the block. I'm a shield for you. He he shot his shot. And you know what? I was like, that's a tremendous amount of player maturity. Tremendous amount of maturity. Thank you. It was just, I think he's too, he, he's too, like, honorable for, for brother. For, for inside the house. Listen, I know people that have, like, I'm just talking about outside the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get you. But he also probably didn't realize that, you know, he was sitting next to Mr. Tucker's booth day. Yeah. It'll be, um, it'll be interesting to see where they go from here. So, and by the way, did you watch that, that Tuesday special that they did? Nope. What a waste of time. Don't ever do that to me again, but, CBS. Like, like, she was mad. I mean, she's like, what the fuck is this? Why, why? I was like, it's not, I said, it's not an episode. 
I said it's not. It's a recap show in week four. A recap show in week four. This is what you do the week before finals. What are we doing, CBS? For what purpose? Don't you scold CBS while I'm on the live because I love Big Brother. I want to go back. Christmas loved the Tuesday episode. I hated it. Don't put me on reindeer games. Yeah. Oh, man. They should put us on reindeer games. Can you imagine? That'd be so funny. Bring back a Big Brother All-Star and a friend. <laughs> I'm sorry, Privy to your game. You're not crazy enough to go on my... On, on, oh, if I were on, I don't think you're willing to wreck the havoc that I want to do. Me? <laughs> I told you. You're I wouldn't... You're conservative in your, in your gameplay. No. See... I feel like I'd have to be, if I forget reindeer games, if it was a regular season, I feel like I'd have to be conservative because as soon as I walk in, people will be like, oh, screw that guy. <laughs> you know, we're getting him out. You just have to pretend like you're a knucklehead. Yeah, I, I'd probably have to dumb it down and play real, real like, stupid. Like, when people are watching, you're just clumsy and like certain things that you know that you have people like you're like, I'm not a threat, then you do yeah. like. You only pull it out when you need to. The gameplay. Oh. <laughs> Keep it clean there, Abbott. Oh, oh man. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. I, I, I'm curious to see where this goes from here. I really don't have a sense at this point who I like now. You know what? I got a new... Okay. I said last week, Seti was my dark horse to win the whole thing. I have a new dark horse, Kelly Kapowski. <laughs> Kelly Kapowski for the win. You're being a little knee jerk about this. I don't care. Kelly Kapowski is my new front runner. Kelly Kapowski. I like it. I support yeah. it. I don't know if yeah. I like it, but I like it. Look, I mean, everyone thinks Tucker's going to run away with this thing, and maybe he will. Tucker's going to, I think Tucker's going to get beheaded. <laughs> I think Mackenzie's in a good place because she doesn't have any enemies. She's athletic as hell. She's proven she can win when she needs to. Um, she's not trapped in a showman's thanks to week one. I th think there's a lot in her favor. That's so funny because Matt was like one of my top picks. Yeah, he was a threat. Like he was, he. I was like, that dude's gonna rock it, and he would have had. Angela not been Angela. I'm okay with Matt being gone because he's too pretty. I can't look at a guy that's that pretty all summer. Really pretty. He's but really like, pretty. All that, like really sweet. I can see where him and Mackenzie had that chemistry. Oh, so yeah. Can... Well, yeah. Mackenzie They'll have a great time at the after party. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> that BB after party is going to go hard. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna make it to the after party. <laughs> okay, I, I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. Let's wrap this up. After party in my bed. <laughs> yeah. Good night, Christmas. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, world. Thank you, BB fans. We love you. Check you next week. Sure. Yeah. Rad. See ya. Bye, guys. <laughs>